Hi everyone, my name is James. I am the CEO and co-founder of Charge Desk. Uh, so we've got an exciting new feature that I'm showing you today for the first time. Um, this is our new payment request feature. We've had quite a few um, people ask about this and if we could do this. And so we've been working on this for a little while and uh, yeah, really excited to roll it out. Uh, so it deals with a really common um, issue that lots of people have in, in their workflow, which is how do you actually accept payments from people? You might have a storefront, uh, an integration with, um, with your uh, payment gateway directly through code, but you might also want to have to uh, create once-off payments for customers if you want to invoice them directly. And you also might need to have your entire workflow um, built around support agents actually creating charges uh, and invoices for customers. And uh, that's what Trustest does, that's what the new payment request feature does. So I'm going to show you how this works. Um, I'm just running this demo inside Zendesk, um, but of course it will work inside any of the help desks we support, it's going to look very similar. So you can see here I've got a ticket from Albert and he's asking to buy a compression pack. Um, he wants to know how to pay. So usually you might have to use some other third party system here, you'd have to bring up another site and do invoicing and copy and paste everything across. Um, but in this case, um, you can see we've got the charge desk panel up here on the right. Um, we've detected that we don't have any payments currently from Albert, but what we can do is we can create a new charge for him. And so we've got this panel that comes up here. I know that compression packs are $11. Um, I'm just going to put compression pack a description. This is optional, but it's um, it's recommended. It's a good idea to put a description in there. And it's pre-filled the email address of the customer. And all I need to do is request the payment. And that's going off and that's immediately sending me an email asking them to make this payment. Um, and then up here on the right, so if, whenever you bring up a ticket from Albert, you're going to see that this payment has been requested. Um, and once it's been paid, obviously that this will change to paid. Um, I can see a few, a few little details about it here. We can even send him a reminder if we like. We can fill in some details here and um, ask him to, to make that payment. Um, so I just jump across to the email now and bring it up. Um, so we can see here um, that the payment request has come through. It's asking him to pay the $11 uh, for the compression pack. Um, the other thing we do is we generate these invoices automatically. You can turn these on and off, um, but they're quite good if you need them for tax reporting purposes. Um, you can obviously fill in your um, all your company details and ABN and stuff will be populated here if you, if you have that recorded. Uh, you can also set tax rates as well, which is quite useful. Um, and then they can actually pay directly from the invoice. So I could either click this pay now button um, or of course I could pay from the email. So I'm going to click this right here. So what this bring up is this is the payment form. And um, because I've got both PayPal and Stripe connected to my account, I can choose which one to pay with. Um, so for example, I can click the pay with PayPal button and it's going to take me directly to PayPal. And so all I need to do here is just put in my email. It, it, it's obviously pre-populated the email. Uh, I can also put in my password, click pay, and that's gonna go straight through and create that payment. Really quick and easy. Um, alternatively, um, all I need to do is put in my credit card details here. Um, this is just a testing card I'm using just to, to show, show you how this works. Um, and um, that's all I need to do. All I need to do is put in the card number, the expiry, and the um, CVC number. Um, just before I do that, though, before I pay out, I'm just going to show you a few other quick things. Um, so obviously, we have all our typical integration here. So um, if they, if the customer wants to, they can ask you a question. Um, they just put in their their question about the charge here, um, and that will obviously go directly to your help desk again, and it will be immediately available for you to view. Um, alternatively, you can download the invoice um, from this page as well. The customer will do that. Um, but what I'll do now is I'll just go and process this payment. So how this is working this is actually working through through your connected payment gateway. So the really great thing about this is that the funds never touch our account, the customer credit card details never touch our account. They're all, all encrypted with your payment gateway details and sent directly to your vault or to your storage and inside Stripe or in Braintree um, or PayPal. And, um, and yeah, the funds go directly into your account. It's not traveling through any third party systems. And any verification systems or any, any uh, fraud support tools you have set up already on your payment gateway they're just going to work out of the box um, and yes that's that's all that's all it is it's really simple and straightforward and that payment this $11 now will have gone through um, to um, to my bank account um, if I go back to the support ticket I'm just going to reload uh, this page here 
And so I can see now that the payment has gone through. Um, it's got the $11, gone through moments ago for the compression pack. Um, so I can see the details of it. As usual, I can process a refund, a partial, a full if I want. But the fantastic thing here is because this is integrated with your payment gateway, um, we actually now have the card on file for this customer. So say Albert was to come and he wanted to request an upgrade. Um, say he wanted an upgrade. Um, because the card is already on file, I can just immediately charge that card. So this has gone through and done another transaction that's, that's transferred the $21 immediately. And that's gone on, and that's actually live talking to the bank account using that card detail that Albert just stored. Um, so this is a really great workflow, particularly have a lot of back and forth with customers. You might need to do refunds or process multiple charges. Um, but even for the once off, obviously it's really simple and straightforward to use. Um, before I finish up, I'm just going to show you another fantastic feature we've got here. Um, so um, another request we had is support for mobile payments. And so this works pretty much the same way. Um, so I'm just going to put in an amount here, 62. Um, and I'm going to put in a phone number. And... Um, payment just as example description. So instead of putting an email address here, what you can also do is put in a phone number. And this works entirely through um, SMS. Um, and so you can see this actually coming up now. I've got this um, through my phone, which is attached to my iMessage. Um, and you can see that, that that SMS has gone through. It's requesting a payment for um, that $62 I just, I just put through. And um, I can click the pay link and this is going to come and bring me to the payment page. Um, obviously on a mobile, um, this would show you the, um, the mobile workflow. So I'm just gonna show you what that looks like on, uh, for example, an iPhone 6. Um, so you can see the payment page is all visible here um, in sort of the screen size for, for an iPhone. You can just put in the credit card details and as usual, pay with PayPal and pay directly with credit card. And um, and that's it. So in the same way, you would you would receive the payment, um, and that will come directly to uh, your account, and, and it would work entirely through mobile. So this is quite useful if you have an entire um, communication with a customer that goes through mobile phones. For example, you might have like an SMS-based business, um, or you might only know their phone number, or you need to charge really um, make a charge really quickly as well. Obviously, they'll go to their phone and they get alerted straight away. And that's it, that's, that's the core of the feature. Um, look, we're really excited about this. We've had some really positive feedback. It's only just gone live um, just in the past week. We've had a few people testing it out. And we've already had a few people actually move their entire business to actually this new functionality. So they're requesting payments from customers, um, processing refunds on them, and, um, and running their entire workflow, their entire payment workflow, basically through Charge Desk. Um, so we're really excited about this. Um, we're obviously iterating on the feature. Um, we'd love any feedback you might have, any feature requests. Um, we're hiding a lot of complexity here, so there are obviously things we can toggle on and off if you need them. So please feel free to reach out to me if you have anything you'd, you'd like to see us do. Um, my email is, is james at chargedesk.com. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.